when I'm studying for my test, I'll just make sure I go back up on YouTube and watch the video so I can listen and see exactly how am I gonna do these problems. Because so far, we've worked on, here's my X and my Y. We could also, let's do actually this one F of X. Because I need you guys to understand these are interchangeable. F of X and Y are interchangeable. But since we're talking about functions, Chris, we're gonna be using F of X more commonly, all right? So in previous videos, not for you guys yet, but I'll have them up. For previous videos, we've talked about how to find the, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find <coughs> how does X and F of X relate to each other? Or how does X and Y relate to each other? So what we're doing is, remember, we're looking at function, we're saying, what is happening to my X variable to get to either my F of X or my Y, right? And that's, remember we talked about relationships? Remember we had that talk? Yeah. Relationships, how are they related? What is happening to one to get the other? That's the whole under thing, you know, about a, when we're talking about relations. So first thing I always do is I, I like, kind of like to look at the steps. The first thing I do is, hey, let's look at adding and subtracting. That's the easiest for me. So I say from three to seven, if I add a three, I'm sorry, if I add a four to my three, I get seven, right? Yeah. So therefore you could say, hey, that makes sense. Let's write my function as f of x equals um, x plus seven. But remember, remember, x represents all the numbers, not just this one. So even though x plus, or x plus four, sorry, even though x plus four works for this, it has to work for every single one. So if I put in a different x, does it still work? If I put in two, does two plus four give me five? No. So therefore, this rule doesn't work. Okay? Non-function. Well, it's not no such so non-function, because remember, functions are determining if they have the, a unique x every y. And these are all functions because every number relates to a, a number up there. But that's a different video, different topic, different time. So let's look at, so adding and subtracting doesn't work. Let's look at multiplication. Here, I can't multiply by number. Here, if I multiply negative one times one, I get um, negative one, right? So I could say my function could be f of x equals x. Whatever I put in for x, that's what I get for f of x, right? Well, is that true for the rest of them? If I put in three, do I get back out three? No. So remember, even though it works for this one, it has to work for all of them. So therefore, this one doesn't work. Whew. Okay. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to look at combinations. And what we're gonna do is we're going to look at multiplying, dividing, and adding and subtracting. So the first thing I like to always try to do is always look at adding or subtracting first and then, um, then doing a multiplication problem. So when looking at a problem like this, I could say, all right, well, since it goes from positive to positive and a negative to a negative, my, if I'm going to be multiplying by a number, that number has to be positive, right? Because if I multiply by a negative number, it would make that 7 negative, right? And if I multiply by a negative number against negative 1, that would make that positive. So I know I'm multiplying by a positive number. So therefore, we're just going to have to kind of use options, right? So what can I multiply 3 by to get me close to 7? Yes? You can multiply by 2. What else could you do? Multiply by 3, right? You can multiply by 4. So let's just practice. Let's just look at, let's just look at, um, let's just do 2, 3, and 4. So I can do f of x equals 2x, f of x equals 3x, and f of x equals 4x, okay? So if I did 2 times x, that means 2 times 3, that gives me 6, right? To get to 7, I have to do what? Add 1. So that's one possible function. If I do times 3, 3 times 3 is 9. To get to 7, I have to do what? Minus 2. And if I did 4, 3 times 4 is 12. To get to 7, I have to subtract 5, right? Now there's more possibilities. I'm just kind of doing the easiest ones right now. All right, but you guys, you'll see there could be, you know, there's multiple different ones. You can multiply by five. You can multiply by, you know, 30, whatever. There's a lot of different possibilities. So now, but remember, X is for all of these values. It doesn't just work for this one. So now, which one of these equations works for this one? Well, two times three is? 6, and 6 minus 2, 
when I see it's four, almost. So we're almost there, almost there, but yes, if you have it, the first one, multiply by two, add the one. Does it work for this one? Negative two times two is negative two, plus one is negative one. So therefore my function is fx equals two x plus one. Does that make sense? So you just gotta you gotta get used to these guys. You're not gonna get good at it unless you're practicing over and over and over how to do these. So this one is a very simple one again. Again, we look at it. Here I'd have to add seven, right? So I can say f of x equals x plus seven. However, negative two plus seven is a positive five, not a negative five, right? So this doesn't work. What about multiplication? There's no positive number or integer, I'm sorry, there's no integer that I can multiply eight by to get to 15, nor for the rest of these. So therefore, there's no multiplication I can do, or division. What number is that? This is number six. And then, um, so I'm gonna have to do a combination again. So let's just practice. What are some numbers I can multiply eight by to get to 15? Multiply by two, two right? And let's do three. I don't wanna get too far away, but let's just do f of x equals two. Two x and f of x equals 3x. So when I'm doing f of x equals 2x, f of x is 3x, 2 times 8 is 16, minus 1 is 15. So that works. And then this one, if I did 24, so it'd have to be 24 minus 9, right? Okay, so which one works for this one? Let's do 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8, minus 1 is negative 9. Negative nine, and this one is three x minus nine. Or so that works for this one, but does three times negative four is a negative twelve minus nine is a negative twenty one. So it doesn't work for this one, right? So this function is right there. Everybody see it? Good. Good. That's it. That's all I gotta do.